Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are at Philippi with the overseers and deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all, making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And I'm sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Christ Jesus. It is right for me to feel this way about you all, because I hold you in my heart, for you are all partakers with me of grace, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness how I yearn for you with all the affection of Christ Jesus. Hey, good morning. This is Pastor Steve Mapp, and I'm so delighted that you've taken some time this morning to, to join me for our devotional on this Monday, May the 17th. Yesterday, we began a series uh, of sermons from Dr. Benjamin on the letter of Paul to the Philippians. And it is my favorite letter that Paul wrote. Uh, I love all of Paul's letters, but this one in particular, because to me it offers such joy and hope and encouragement. And I think, uh, of course, in all but one of the letters that Paul wrote, he begins with thanksgiving, always thanking God. And that's the important thing. You know, I love to write thank you notes uh, to people. I really do. Uh, look for opportunities to do that because I get a, a lot of pleasure out of saying thanks and showing gratitude for someone or someones who, you know, have been kind to me or have helped me along or that I just want to encourage. And it's interesting to me that, you know, when I send a thank you note, I'm sending it to a person. Um, Paul here is, in one sense, yes, he's, he's thanking the Philippians, but but he's thanking God for the Philippians. It's, it's almost like a kind of an indirect thank you to the Philippians because God, uh, Paul knows that it's God that's doing the work in the minds and the hearts of these Philippians. And it's because of their participation in the gospel and their sharing of it with Paul and, and the joy and the love in their hearts that they have for Paul and the gospel that Paul has presented that Paul gives all the thanks to God for that. It's God's work that's being done in the hearts and the minds of the Philippians. Paul says, you know, what God has begun, he's going to bring to completion. God never stops acting on your behalf, Philippians, and God never stops working on our behalf and trying to bring us to completion, which will be done when we see Christ face to face. And it, it's, it's, it's because these Philippians have, have, have shown Paul favor uh, and grace, if you will, in his own imprisonment. He's certainly giving thanks for that, but he's thanking God because it's God that's given uh, the Philippians grace and so they are participating in that and showing that same grace to to Paul and to each other now there's no question about it Paul will begin to intercede on behalf of the Philippians and he does so beginning in verse 9 and 9 through 11 there's a great intercessory prayer there but but I think what's really fascinating about this is is that you know in, in most of our prayers when we are praying for someone, we immediately go into, you know, the intercession for them. But what Paul does before he makes an intercession for the Philippians, he thanks God for them and the joy and the love that's in his heart for them. And I got to thinking about this. And in my prayer life, um, when I am praying for someone, I, I had to stop and think, you know, I almost always immediately pray for the need of the person. I wonder if what Paul is teaching us here is, 
something really important about our prayer life that maybe we should take some time up front to thank God for the person and the joy that they have brought to me in my life because of their participation in the gospel along with me. It's a very interesting thought. Do I go immediately to the intercession or do I stop and I thank God for them first and what God is doing in their life and how amazing it is that what God has started in their life, he's going to complete. That's a joyful thing. That is, that's wonderful. And so I wonder now, as I, as I think about my prayers uh, for others uh, going forward, I want to take up a, a page out of, uh, out of Paul's letter to the Philippians here and, and stop first and thank God for them and the joy that they bring to my life by being a fellow partaker in, in, in their love and sharing of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I think that's a wonderful thing to do. And, and yes, by all means, offer the intercessions that we need to do for each other. But perhaps we should be thanking God for them first and then stepping into the intercession. That's what Paul does here. I think it's a great lesson for us. Perhaps you do too. Thanks for joining me this morning. And I thank God for each and every one of you. And I thank God for the work that he's begun in you and that he's begun in me. And I thank God that he is going to continue to work in us until the day where we see Christ face to face. We are always a work in progress. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. God bless you. Have a great day. I'm praying for you. Take good care.